President Obama has already ordered increased efforts. Uh, he's been doing that before the Paris attacks over the course of the last months, increased efforts. And uh, we're seeing the results of those. Two sources say the gunmen are still holed up on the seventh floor of the Radisson Blue in a tense siege between them and Malian special forces. Between 18 to 27 bodies are reported to have been seen already. Communities that are being liberated with uh, additional players who are coming to the battle. So uh, we have to be patient. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I am confident that if we stay steady, uh, keep uh, our heads, uh, uh, we're going to defeat Daesh. We always said it will take time. We began our fight against Al-Qaeda in 2001, and it took us quite a few years uh, before we were able to eliminate Osama bin Laden and the top leadership and neutralize them as an effective force. An Al-Qaeda uh, faction has claimed responsibility for this attack on a, on a tweet, Harris, and uh, this, this faction, it's not surprising news because there are quite a few Al-Qaeda factions in Mali. There's uh, strong Islamic uh, uh, radical groups running around in Mali, and the French have been trying to combat those groups. And these, are, these groups have been hitting back, and this is so far, this hotel attack is the biggest attack attack that they've done. Um, and, and with, a, with a, um, uh, an allegiance um, uh, uh, here to, to ISIS when it comes to that, um, the ISIS is not definitely involved, but these groups have pledged allegiance to ISIS. We hope to do Daesh much faster than that, and we think we have an ability to do that.